okay, so I think you kind of understand how how important right, how much importance I place on phrasing. Okay. Now then the fourth uh, development as a musician is to develop your own voice that someone knows that it is you. Now whether you are more of a player and less of a composer or you are more of a composer and don't really like to play so many standards or kind of half and half, uh, it doesn't matter. But if you, if you work towards developing your own, your own voice, uh, it's really, really important because then that will set you apart from everybody that you won't just be another uh, I mean it's nothing wrong to be a, a really good sideman everyone wants to hire you but also you have the potential of becoming a leader because you have the tunes either you have your own tunes that are great or you uh, you are you have a way of interpreting uh, standards in a way like Keith Jarrett for example and he just has a wonderful way of interpreting standards now besides having he doesn't write much anymore other than his uh, spontaneous composition for the uh, when he does the solo piano stuff but to to find your own voice to find that when someone hears the first few notes they know it's you <coughs> So maybe at this point I will play on something else for you now. Um, maybe just hopefully it's a bit early in the day for me. I hope I can play with some good phrasing. Um, this original composition of mine. The song is um, is called "Life Goes On," and uh, basically what I'm trying to emote and uh, talk about the song is there's a point when all of us lose something great in our life. Sometimes we lose all our money. Sometimes we lose a, a partner, a, a, either a wife or husband or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, we lose someone really dear to us or, or a pet or whatever, we just lost. But there's a point that after you feel so sad for a long time that you have acceptance. You know, there's an emotional map uh, that, that, that psychologists know about, but there's a point in the emotional map that you, you arrive at acceptance. And at that point of acceptance is when I wrote this composition, and this is called ไลฟ์โฟลส์ออนครับต่อไปก็จะเล่นเพลงที่เราเขียนขึ้นมาเป็นชื่อชื่อว่าไลฟ์โฟลส์ออนเป็นเพลงที่เราเขียนขึ้
Keith Jarrett talks about a fifth stage in development, but I don't know if I'll ever get there. Or any of us will get there. And that is, you have to be very careful that once you define a voice, and you define a style that you identify with, to be careful not to become a parody of your own self. Like an imitation, an imitation of your own self. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, so basically, um, that's what I wanted to share with you on that. And the next thing I want to move on to, uh, if I can, is uh, um, to, as a pianist, how do you practice? What do you do when you practice? How do you? Very often you don't have, I mean, in college you have, you know, two, three hours sometimes free to practice. But when you're a working musician out there, sometimes you don't really have uh, that kind of time. So you have to try and find a way. For me, I, 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 when I can, I, when I have a major concert, I will make time to practice two, three hours a day. But when I'm home, I will make sure that I have at least 90 minutes. I also have a lot of injuries in my hand. I have all surgery in my wrist and uh, surgery in my elbow. And now I can't actually go on for more than an hour without resting and then practice another hour. Uh, but I think the 90 minutes is a good practice regime. So um, maybe here we can do a bit of interactive to make a suggestion on what should be, what would you do? Or maybe one student who practices can tell me what is, what do you do when you have 90 minutes? What, how do you spend your 90 minutes? Can you sure. ask one a student to describe what he do, does in a, or she does in a 90 minute practice session?
when you play this ballad, there's two things that happens, right? Firstly, you're doing some light warm up, and the other thing is you're centering yourself because maybe you've just been very busy running around paying bills or whatever it is. So the ballad, the quiet ballad, has the effect of just centering yourself and bringing yourself to be in that space and time. But it's ว่าสาเหตุเรื่องเรื่องมาหลังเรื่องเนี่ยเพราะว่าเป็นการมองมาใช่ไหมครับด้วยอย่างแล้วก็เป็นการทำให้เราจับมาจดจ่ออีกแ